All right guys, super simple compositing quick tip for you today. And I've talked about this before in previous videos, but one of my favorite ways to integrate CG explosions or other bright CG elements like spotlights or tracer rounds or things like this into the live action plate is by actually utilizing some grunge elements or lens droplets and using a luma mat of the bright element that you're adding to drive where that grunge or where those lens droplets show up. So I'll just go ahead and use this shot from our chaos add-on for Blender trailer. And this is the composite it inside of After Effects, and I've done a full breakdown of all the elements that we added to create this final composite, but what I wanna focus on in this video are those lens droplets. So I'll go ahead and just pre-compose all of our different elements here so we can just focus on our last two layers here. As you can see here, I have two different layers above our main composite, so I'll just turn these off really quick. This is our main composite, and then I've just overlaid these lens droplets on top of everything, and then I'm using a luma mat right here. Um, you can see it's a luma mat by this little button right here, but what I'm doing here is I'm just using the explosion flames to drive where these little droplets show up. So you can see here, if I double click it, this is our grunge element, so you can download a variety of these on the internet, and you can you know download scratches, anything you wanna overlay on top of your footage to add a little bit of grunge but rather than just overlaying it on top without the map data like this you can see i'm just adding it in this case we actually use the brightness values of the final explosion here to tell after effects where to show the droplet so as you can see here if we select this and then once again make sure that the luma mat is selected here instead of alpha mat you can see that we're actually using this data right here which is our emission pass that i've added a whole bunch of different glow effects to and we're using the brightness values of this to tell the compositor where we want those droplets to show up so you can see a little before and after here. Here's with our grunge droplets. It just kind of blends everything into our scene a bit as if there's some dirt or grunge on the lens. And then of course, without, we just have kind of this very basic looking composite. So obviously you can go either way here, guys, but I like to add a little bit of grunge to my composites a lot of the time, especially when it's a violent explosion like this. But this is a really great way to do this. And I'll just go ahead and show you guys the matte data without the effects. So you can see this is the actual explosion data. It's just those flames from the explosion. And I'm just taking this data, I'm adding a bunch of different effects on top of it to brighten it up with some glow and just enhance it a bit to tell After Effects where I want that grunge to show up. I've added a little bit of blur to it and even some curves to just really blow it out. And then finally, we actually just turn off the actual explosion, but then once again, we're using our LumaMath data that we've created to drive where these lens droplets show up. And then on the actual lens droplet element here, I've also added a variety of effects on it as well. So I've added a little bit of blur, some tint and some curves. So you can see kind of the different effects that this is having on the element. But the main thing to take away here is using that LumaMat data to tell After Effects where we want the grunge to show up in the final image. So just a little quick tip for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.